make sure you switch the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our coach, opening statements. Yeah, um, start man, well, as much as you like to avoid nights like this, it's part of the uh, a process of being really good at sticking to who you really want to be. And you just you get challenged. And tonight was one of those nights where we were we were challenged. But what what I what I didn't like more about anything is that we did a lot of things that did not help us. But I just felt like for 40 minutes, the team in the darker jersey just played harder, right? If things aren't going your way, that's not a problem. Okay, all right, ball's not going in. Okay, not too big a problem. But when you when they take the life out of you, that's a that's the only thing that I felt like, man, they, they, they just took the life away from us. And that's, um, those are hard, harder pills to swallow. Now, as crazy as this sounds, offensively, we, we you, know, you look at some of these numbers, shooting percentages and that, that's why statistics are so deceiving. <laughs> you look at a game where you shot 50% and you say, oh man, they had a chance, they, it was a close game. Yeah. Not, even, not even true. So. Well, we're going to be challenged with a team like this that is so inexperienced, that's never been in this moment, that's clearly, you know, I know I, as a coach, I'm, I'm embarrassed for our fan base because we're, we're so much better than that. We have so much more pride than that. Can we bounce back? So now we're going to be, now we're going to see if we can bounce back. Coach, the defensive pressure on the perimeter seemed to give us fits all night. Was that something you knew coming in that they were going to pressure the ball up high? Yeah, we've seen we've seen pressure in every game. You know, we started off at Cal uh, Bakersfield, pressure. Um, you go down a lot of Tech pressure, Texas State pressure. Um, you go down the line, it's just been one game or that. We we have seen that, so we weren't surprised. We knew that they wanted to play fast and get it up the court. It's you know, it's I can go home tonight and talk to my ten-year-old son, and he can tell me exactly what happened and, and be spot on. So I think everyone that watched us tonight knows exactly what happened. You can tell what I'm, the key is, can we get change? Can we not compound our problem? That's where, as a coach, I feel like I've led, you know, I, I didn't do a very good job with that, preparing her for that. And that's our journey. Our journey is, can we, one mistake, not turn into two? And we saw that too many times tonight. The ball, if, if we're not doing things correctly, does it affect our energy level? And it clearly affected it tonight. So those are the things that we have to really focus on. More goes into practices in between this game and the Seattle game to try and yeah, right to try and help what you're saying, right? Of not compounding mistakes, of how to bounce back, of how to play with more energy even when things aren't going your way. Yeah, it, 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 uh, it comes with some experience, right? Hopefully they learn from this and okay, we've been here before. We know how that felt. Let's not allow that to happen again. Um, so that's it. Just it, uh, that's how it. I mean, I've been coaching for almost thirty years. It might be even thirty. I've been on this side a few times, not a lot, <laughs> but I've been on the other side where things are going well. And what it is, is it's a culture of okay, things are going to be hard. We embrace being, things being hard, and I don't think quite yet um, we've embraced things that are things that are hard. And then you fight through that. Next thing you know, it becomes easy. Yeah. Yeah. There are obviously a lot of negative things you can focus on. Or some positive things in the first half, right? I think we played a decent game in the first half, a decent half, I should say. Started well. Um, you know, we, we had the lead. You know, we've done this before, kind of lead goes away. And then we, we were right there at the end. Um, then got punished for doing some things that we typically don't do. I mean, you don't help off corners. You don't do things like that. And we got punished. Uh, no problems. We're down eight. Now we just regroup and come out and just try to do and play solid. And clearly in the second half, man. It, it, yeah, 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 just did. Our, our coming out, the response wasn't what we needed. So that's something that, as a coach and as a staff, that we'll take responsibility for that. We'll figure out how to how to get these guys to come out and uh, play with a lot more energy than, 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 we, than we have in the second half. There's been a few second halves like this, but we've been able to bounce back. Not tonight. Um, Coach, with the way that the scheduling is in the WAC this year, um, we're playing our first conference game just two weeks into the season yeah. and against arguably the best team in the conference. Um, can you just talk about how the experience of playing this game so early in the season can really help us develop as a team 
going into our next game against Seattle and then the rest of preseason having a really tough preseason schedule? Yeah, the, the preseason schedule was very difficult and um, that was by design. I mean, the one thing is not, I, I, don't, I don't want us to shy away from competition. I think you can't, I think you have to learn these lessons. Sometimes they're hard like tonight. Um, um, it, it doesn't get any easier, but we have to have a better response to when something bad goes, happens, what, what's the right response? So that's what we're gonna focus on. And we've got a, a really great film to learn some of these lessons. And hopefully, hopefully we see it, uh, see some change. That's the key, you gotta get change. Yeah, you guys. Okay, all right, coach.